Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of 3D geometry. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to consider a triangle ABC where the coordinates of A, B and C are 1, 3, 2. B is given minus 2, 8, 0. And the third coordinate C is given as 3, 6, 7. And further, the question tells us if the angle bisector of this angle BAC, if the angle bisector of this angle meets the line BC at a point which is D, then the question is asking us to figure out the length of projection of the vector AD on the vector AC. So it's asking you to find the length of projection of this vector on this vector that we have to figure out. And if I talk about answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 37 over 2 root 38. The second answer choice we have is square root of 19. The third is 39 over 2 root 38. And the last answer choice we have here is root 38 divided by. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for this question that is given to us that is basically length of projection of vector ad on the vector ac that is asked to us let's see how to solve this question for the before starting off with the solution for this question i would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make this type of solutions for the questions as easy as possible let's see how to solve this question further so we have been given three coordinates already a b c and it also is telling me that the angle bisector of this angle bac it meets this line bc at a point which is d so if i draw the triangle first with the three vertices A, B, and C. The A vertex it's given to us as 1, 3, 2. The vertex B is given to us as minus 2, 8, 0. And the vertex C is given to us as 3, 6, 7. The question tells us that angle bisector of this angle B, A, C. If I draw an angle bisector for this. That angle bisector basically meets this line BC at point D. So when it meets BC at point D, basically what does it do is it divides your line BC in the ratio 1 is to 1. And if I want to find the coordinates of D first, let's see how to do that. So I can just apply, since it's dividing this line BC in the ratio 1 is to 1 at the point D, I can apply midpoint theorem or midpoint rule to find the coordinates of point D. So if I want to find the coordinates, X coordinate would be given by sum of X coordinates divided by two. That is basically mean. So D has the X coordinates of B and C. So if I take the mean of them, minus two and plus three divided by two, which is half. For Y, I can do sum of Y coordinates divided by two. So sum of y coordinates, if I see it's 8 plus 6 divided by 2, which is 7. And for z coordinate of d, I can find the sum of z coordinates. So that is 0 plus 7 divided. So you get 7 divided. So you get the coordinates of d, which is basically half, 7 and 7 over 2. Now once I have the coordinates of d with me here, the question further tells me, that you have to find the length of the projection of this vector AD on this vector AC. So let's find the vector AD. So vector AD, if I want to figure out, I can write that as D minus A. So vector D, it is given to us in this form. So it's basically half I plus 7J plus 7 over 2K minus vector A which in this case is i plus 3j plus 2k. So we get from here half and minus 1. So basically it is minus half i plus. 
7 minus 3. So it's basically 4j. 7 over 2 minus 2. So 7 over 2 minus 2 basically means 7 minus 4 divided by 2, which is 3 divided by 2. Okay. So you get this vector AD. Now, similarly, if I find the vector AC, I get C bar minus A bar. C bar in this case is 3, 6, 7. So 3i plus 6j plus 7k minus A is i plus 3j plus 2. So from here, I get 3i minus i. 2i, 6 minus 3, 3j, and 7 minus 2, 5k. So we get the length of both the vectors AD and AC. Now the question is asking us to figure out length of projection of these vectors AD on AC. So when the question asks us to find the projection of vector A bar on B bar, what do we do here is we find the dot product of A and B and divide it by the magnitude of vector B. So same ways if we do that here also, length of projection of this vector AD on the vector AC. So vector AD I have with me. Also, I have vector AC with me. If I just take the dot product of them and divide by the magnitude of AC. So let's see. So dot product of AD and AC if I do, I have minus half i plus 4j plus 3 over 2k. Dot product of AC here is 2i plus 3j plus 5k. Divided by magnitude of 2i plus 3j plus 5 so let's see what I get. So if I take the dot product of this, I get minus half into 2, 4 into 3, and 3 over 2 into 5. Divided by magnitude of this, square root of 2 square, 3 square, 5 square. So let's see what I get. So from here, I get minus 1 plus 12 plus this becomes 15 divided by 2 divided by. This becomes square root of 4 plus 9, 13 and plus 25, so 38. So you get square root of 38 in the denominator. Numerator, if I try to solve it, making the denominator 2 for each of them. So this becomes 12 minus 1, which is 11. And 11, if I have, I want to make the denominator same and multiply both sides. with. So you get 22 plus 15, that's 37 divided by 2 and root 38. So we get this, and if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question, the option is A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.